And the robotic arm uh, releasing the dragon uh, on time uh, 10 minutes after the hour. Begins a very slow back out uh, off of the uh, attach pin. You see that uh, crosshair is the docking target um, that is used by crew members on an overlay on the computer screens at the robotic workstation to assist with uh, uh, their visual uh, view of the um, dragon and the, uh, especially this particular point as the arm slowly backs away uh, from that attach point. Once the arm is at a uh, safe distance from Dragon, the first of the two close-in departure burns will take place. Dragon back on its own uh, after a month at the International Space Station, returning um, almost 4,000 pounds of uh, critical science experiments, uh, as well as uh, other equipment uh, that will splash down with the Dragon and be retrieved. There's also some unneeded uh, items that uh, um, basically cleaning house aboard the station uh, that is done with any cargo vehicle. And the first uh, departure burn is armed on the Dragon are ready for the first in that series of departure maneuvers. And departure burn one is underway. Houston copies, Molto Ben Fato, Samantha. Nice job. Station Houston on two. For Terry and Samantha, departure burn one is complete. Departure burn two in approximately one minute. Copy that. Thanks, Randy. Houston Station on two, this is Elian. I'm done with my concern. Thank you. And we're standing by for departure burn number two. high above the Tasman Sea between uh, Australia and New Zealand, tracking uh, easterly across the uh, southern Tasman Sea, just about to swing out across the Pacific. Houston, 
Director, we're performing step five in the robotics procedure safing the arm. Houston copy. And Houston, Dragon release is complete. You're go to ground maneuver to SSRMS park position. So the crew on board is uh, completed with its uh, drag and release operations. You just heard uh, Terry Vert's call down to the team here in Mission Control. The crew is handing arm control over to the uh, robotics team here in the uh, white ficker of Mission Control Houston. Flight Control Room 1 uh, used for uh, quite a number of the uh, space shuttle uh, missions in its early days uh, before being turned over to the International Space Station as the orbiting complex grew in size and mass um, throughout its construction requiring some additional uh, console positions uh, reaching the point that it is now. The room will actually be reconfigured um, uh, during the summer and fall of this year um, with some upgraded equipment um, to uh, enhance the capabilities of the flight control team and the room itself. The uh, Dragon now uh, at a safe distance from the station headed toward the uh, imaginary uh, keep out sphere or zone uh, once it is exits that uh, about 200 meter area of the uh, station, then the station's uh, responsibility uh, will be handed over formally uh, and completely to the uh, Space Exploration Technologies uh, team in Hawthorne, California for the remainder of its uh, several hours of orbital flight. That team will then uh, oversee the, um, the rest of its uh, flight, including the uh, deorbit uh, burn uh, 